For many, growing a family can come with complications like infertility. The CDC estimates one in five women ages 15 to 49 with no prior births struggle to get pregnant after one year of trying. And one in four of those women have difficulty getting pregnant or carrying to term. But there's an approach to conception benefiting some before, during, and after pregnancy. Reporter Jen Pichano shows us how it's working for one patient at a Cleveland, Ohio hospital. You gonna sit in brother's lap? Not long ago, this picturesque scene of a family of four seemed out of reach for Katie Collins. After she got pregnant and had her first child without any complications, she suffered a pair of late-stage miscarriages. I kind of thought, once I got past the first trimester, we were good to go. Um, couldn't really figure out what was wrong. You know, my husband and I, we were so sad, and I didn't think I could do that again. In the first few weeks of another delicate pregnancy, Katie enlisted the help of her doctors and the team at University Hospital's Connor Whole Health in Beechwood, which focuses on wellness before and during pregnancy through integrative therapies like nutrition, exercise, stress management, and acupuncture. It was a week by week approach like, OK, we made it to this week. We made, like there never felt like there was a safe point. So every time I went to the doctor, you know, was there going to be a heartbeat or what I have found out that, you know, the baby was gone. So to bolster her chances at success, Katie started acupuncture. Christine Kaiser is the Connor Endowed Director of Reproductive Well-Being there. She says any woman trying to get pregnant can benefit from changes in their lifestyle eating healthier, getting better sleep, managing their stress, exercising more. And all of those things we talk about at Counter Whole Health, but specifically women that might be struggling to get pregnant or have had pregnancy losses and want to work on optimizing their health before their next conception. During the sessions, Kaiser says the acupuncture therapy stimulates the body, creating positive changes. So we're looking for changes like improved blood flow to the reproductive organs so that they can work better improved um, relaxation of the nervous system. We want to try and switch to that parasympathetic state, which is where we rest, digest, heal, and relax. Felt like it was that extra thing that I was doing to give my body the, all the help that it, could, that it could get. After sessions, Katie said she slept better and her digestive system was on track. Her stress and anxiety lessened. If I was having hip pain, that seemed to be better. If I had a cold, that went away faster. She says she's a believer in this whole health approach to conception and pregnancy. So I felt like I had just like a really awesome teammate in my corner that was going to be there for me, you know, hopefully with a successful outcome. The more we can learn how to relax our nervous system. And surprisingly, acupuncture is very relaxing. Most of my patients take a nap, feel very happy and relaxed when we're done with the session. I'm not afraid of needles, and I'm definitely not afraid of trying something new. So I thought, you know, let's give it a try, and I, it didn't, didn't hurt. Katie now says with her baby girl kit, her family is complete. What do you think about when you see her crawling around and like, do you, do you think about what I it think took to get there? I think she's a miracle. Like, I think both my children are miracles in a way that maybe I didn't appreciate before. Acupuncture was first developed in ancient China to treat pain. According to the Mayo Clinic, it's most commonly used to treat chemotherapy-induced nausea, dental pain, fibromyalgia, migraines, menstrual cramps, and hay fever.